Welcome back to the Chell Sweets Kitchen. Today I'm sharing this super colorful and bright rainbow cake. So I've swirled together a bunch of different colors of batter and this is just my classic vanilla layer cake recipe. I divided it into six separate bowls and I used some gel food coloring to color each separate shade. Once each color was the shade that I was after and it was bright enough, I swirled them all together in a pan using an offset spatula. If you want to see an in-depth tutorial on how to make these swirled colorful cake layers, you can click the link in the upper right corner. So once my layers were stacked and nicely aligned, I began to work on my crumb coat. I'm frosting this cake with my classic American buttercream, and the full tutorial for that can also be found in the link in the upper right corner. The recipe for my buttercream and for my cake recipe are also up on ChellSweets.com, so if you want to recreate this cake, you can head over there to get the recipes. So I used my large offset spatula to begin to create my crumb coat, and once I had covered the entire cake with a thin layer, I smoothed it using my bench scraper, and I then chilled the cake in the freezer for about 5 minutes until my crumb coat was firm to the touch. Next, I began to work on that second thicker layer of frosting, and I used piping bags to add the frosting just because it helps you get a better distribution of frosting around the cake, and make sure that you're covering it evenly. So I started at the top just like always and I worked my way down with my large offset spatula and then it was time for my bench scraper once again. Once that second layer of frosting was really nice and smooth, I popped the cake into the fridge where I let it sit for about an hour and that helps the buttercream begin to crust and firm up to be able to stand up to the colorful pattern that I'm adding. So the coloring that I'm using here is a mixture of vodka and gel food coloring and if you don't want to use alcohol you could also use a clear extract like a lemon extract. So following the Roy Gibby, I can never say that right, but the color pattern, I began kind of at the bottom with the violet or the purple, and then I worked my way up to the red. So this first layer wasn't as vibrant as I wanted it to be, but it's really important that you add the color in layers to develop a vibrant shade. If you try to add too much at one time, it'll just kind of run down the cake and you will not get the look that you're after. So I added my first layer of each different color, working my way up, and using different sponges for each color. I sometimes use the previous sponge to begin the next color to blend things together, but in general like you couldn't use the green sponge to go into the yellow just because the yellow is a brighter shade. Another tip I wanted to share with you guys is, as you can see I've covered my thumb and my pointer finger with the tips of a plastic glove, and it's really important to do this otherwise your hands will get so colored from all the gel food coloring. I highly recommend doing that if you want to save your hands. So after I added my second layer of color onto there, I reached the shade that I was after and it was time to cut into this cake. So this cake is not only colorful on the outside, it's just as bright on the inside. So thanks so much for watching you guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I'd love to hear what tutorials you'd like to see next, so please let me know in the comment section. Hopefully I'll see you guys again soon!